Hello, my name is Ethan, and I'm a sailor aboard the H.A. Mewald. Today I'm going to teach you some of the names of the lines we use on the ship. Now, I'm only going to be talking about lines found on a foreign Afric vessel, like the Mewald. In the next video, I'll explain lines found on a square rig ship, and some of the differences between the two. Now, a line is any rope with a purpose. You can only call it a rope when stored below decks and waiting for a job. Once you give a rope a job, it becomes a line, and it gets a name based on what it does. The main line we use to set the sails is called a halyard. A halyard gets its name from square rig ships when the job of the halyard was to haul up the yard. Now, the name halyard is used for any line that hauls something upwards. The jib halyard, which is right here, hauls up the jib. These are actually both jib halyards. Now, our fore and main sail, since they have gaps, actually end up having two halyards. Right here, towards the mast in the front part of the gap, is our throat. That's what, that's what this part of the sail is called. So right here, this block here, it, and that line, is the throat halyard. Now back here, on the top part of the sail, right all the way in the back, is the peak. That is the very top peak of the sail. This is actually all one line, and that is the peak halyard. Now, when you're bringing a sail down, usually gravity is enough, especially with the heavy sails like our forward main. Sometimes though, there's a little too much friction, so the sail needs help coming down. In order to do that, we use a downhaul. The name really says it all. Downhaul hauls whatever it's attached to down. The only downhaul we have on the mirror world is on the jib. It's another line similar. It'll end up going from this point down all the way here, so it's running in the right direction. You can actually see it back here and then runs to the deck that is a downhaul another line that is very similar are outhauls on the mirror wall we only have what's called reef outhauls which folds a specific point of the sail this guy right here the reef point back and out towards the end of the boom next i want to talk about the sheet this is where the names start to lose a lot of its descriptiveness. The sheet is attached to the back of the sail here. This guy right here is the sheet. And it helps control the side-to-side -side movement of the sail. Now this is very, very important. So this controls both our speed and the direction we can sail. So the farther out the sheet goes, the closer we can point to the wind, or the farther the closer downwind we can point. Also, hauling on one sheet and easing another is how we turn the boat around without using the engine. The last kind of line I want to talk about is a jigger. Now, this name as well really doesn't tell you anything about what the line does. There's one thing I need to explain before I can describe a jib jigger. When you use a block and tackle system, usually the end of the line is fixed to one of the other blocks. This is called the standing end. Now, using a jigger is the big exception to the rule. A jigger is attached to the standing end of a halyard and adds a second complete block and tackle system that you can use to haul up the sails. If you look here, this is our jigger block. And this here is actually the same line as our peak halyard if you follow it all the way up. So if you were to pull on this, you'd be hauling up the sail. You can also do the same with this. Now this is really, really special because it actually takes both the mechanical advantages of each system and multiplies them together. That gives you a grand total of a 16 to 1 mechanical advantage. The big downside of the jigger is the space limitation. This can only ever go up this far. And when you're pulling it, it only ever gives you a quarter of the height of the sail. But that can be very amazingly useful when you want to get that sail the last little bit up when it's the heaviest and you're holding up the entire sail, not just a portion of it. Thank you. This has been Ethan with the AJ Mule, and thank you for watching.